Sir John Curtis, um, the cephologist from Strathclyde, uh, we were involved in a show together um, on Russian television and we were both dubbed with words we'd never said. Um, I had the evidence. And today, Sir John is saying that uh, Boris Johnson's political career is over. He makes that assessment from the fact that he says 85% of people, uh, ordinary people, uh, in, a, in a poll, uh, had long ago decided that Boris had lied and was not uh, believable. Uh, and it's, he says it's taken the uh, um, House of Commons a little longer to come to the same conclusion. I am not as um, convinced as Sir John that Boris Johnson's political career is over. I think we could easily see a lurch back into the House of Commons by Mr Johnson, by Boris. Uh, and I have a suspicion that Nadine Doris's resignation an hour or so before Boris's was to provide Boris with an avenue of return. So there was no chance of him winning his own seat in an open uh, by-election, no chance at all. The odds were against him. But there is a chance of him winning Nadine Doris's seat. Now, I don't think he will stand as a Conservative, but I think there's every possibility that he might... Uh, front a new um, pseudo-conservative right-wing party and return miraculously to the Commons in Nadine Doris's former seat, challenging a, uh, challenging a conservative candidate, uh, a local conservative candidate. I think uh, it would be Rishi Sunak's worst nightmare, but I think it's a credible possibility. I think there's every possibility equally he could fall flat on his face. But that's a scenario which I, I'm not sure anybody has actually put that forward yet. But uh, uh, let's just wait and see. I think it's very, I, I, I personally think it's very realistic. Um, and uh, I think um, cephology is a little bit like uh, reading tea leaves. It's not always correct.